Hey, what's up everyone? This is going to be the first video of a mini part series showing you how to use Nader and how to be getting the most out of your practice using this tool and the many mods of Refrag. You know, to start off, I'm just going to show you the first couple things that I've last used uh, Nader for. One of the first things was when I was in an after plant, I uh, planted and I was able to cross to this side. And then I noticed that my teammate was bench already and there was pretty much nowhere that I can go. Like there was no point of me like smoking out the door or like trying to uh, do any type of uh, smoke for door. So I figured that I should be repositioning uh, to the left somewhere. Maybe I can get to get right if I can. Maybe I can just like cross back to default because it's just like a better position. Or maybe I could push cat after I get to get right. It could be anything. I pretty much just wanted to get to the left side of sight since the right side was already good for my teammate. And everyone already knows this smoke right here that will go onto the window. And I wanted to find the same exact one, but from this side, since I was stuck. And this is pretty much how I went about that. I went and opened the grenade finder menu. I started here at the start position. I just wanted to find like a good location to start from. And you press two for start position at feet. And then for the end position, which will be three, I'm just gonna clear the smoke real quick. You just do dot clear. And how you use this is all you do is you just put the end position, you press three at your crosshair. And there are different settings here where you can do jump throw, normal throw. I'll keep it at jump throw and I'm just going to press find. And it's actually really nice. Uh, it has a really good uh, prediction feature after that we can use called predictor. And normally with this, I just end up pressing the grenade finder menu to get a good guideline of where I want it to go uh, using predictor to find the lineup for it onto the windowsill or exactly wherever I want my smoke to be. I'm just going to wait for this to search. And with the power of editing, it'll be right at 100% the next moment. And as we see here, it got us a ton of results. And using Predictor now, I can press F, which is just checking the jump throw of it. And when I press reload, it'll show me exactly where it's going to land. And if I let go of F, I can look around and see exactly where it's going to land. And then this looks good, all right, but I'm actually going to want on the windowsill. So I'm going to see if there's any other results, just going through, see if there's any that have like a good lineup for me. And I'm actually pretty good at like a good lineup here, and it's on the windowsill. And this is pretty much like what I did to go through this. I just went through all of the results, and now I found a pretty easy lineup to go exactly where I wanted to. So I'll just go into the middle of this green dot, and now I know it goes here. Check predictor to see if it's going to go where I want it to go, and we're good. That's going to go exactly where I want it to. And that's kind of like a quick way of just finding a nade where I'm in a situation where I'm in a bad spot. I go after the fact of, you know, what could I have done in this position? Where could I have like thrown a nade to put me in a better position, reposition somewhere else? And it's super helpful. You don't have to just be throwing random nades into the sky and just trying to see where they're going to go. Just use predictor and grenade finder and find something super accurate uh, within seconds. And now swapping over to Vertigo here, I'm gonna show a different feature where it's just trying to test out different nays and see what's good. And so one of the situations that you know I was in, you know, I'm working B with one of my teammates and we wanted to try to think of you know double nades that we could do for, uh, for sign here. And we're gonna wanna try to find like a double nades for a bot that goes here. And I'm gonna put the bot on T. I'm gonna bring one right here because usually people are playing at this position. And I'm going to want to find uh, different double nades that I could use to be able to, uh, you know, just double nade and instantly kill this guy. So we're going to try to find like two different spots where you can be side by side. And usually with nader, I'm just going to use the predictor part of it. And I'm just going to find, uh, I'm going to be using my jump throw here, holding F. And all I need it to happen is for this to just bounce off of this and just hit it. And now I can see that it's going to be right on him. If I just aim right here, it has to be a little bit lower. So a little bit lower than this. And now I can see he, he lost 54 HP. So now I just have to find one that complements that nade. That's going to be right behind it. It's going to make sure that it hits off. It's off that. And it's a very easy lineup as well, it looks like. And 53. So altogether, he is going to die 100 damage. And now just for an extra layer of security, just make sure that I'm not going to be bumping into him and we can do this as doubles. So I'll just turn on player collision 
and we're good. We can both do our lineups pretty safe and sound. And that's like a very easy way of just like double checking like your nades. Like you can very clearly see that the damage that he's going to be taking is more than enough to kill him if he's going to be uh, playing at the sign position here. And, you know, that's just how we're going to be theory crafting different ways to pressure people at B. And now moving over towards A, since I play at this position, there's a lot of different spams that could happen. You know, everyone knows that you can be spamming through yellow and you can be spamming the guy on the sandbags here. But, you know, in CS, it's like a game of inches and everything is really quick and you have to take advantage of everything in that moment or you might miss it. So obviously you might want to try to find different spams for, for players that are at these different spots. And, you know, as a T, as soon as you give up A on, on CT side, you know, they're going to be creeping and crawling all in these different spots. So, you know, people usually like to idle at certain positions. They like to idle at this spot. People are usually setting up this smoke so they can uh, smoke left side. So these are usually really easy spots uh, to just find a spam and kill them instantly. Like if you're going to have like an opper at this spot and he's going to be posted and then you're going to be playing with him on lane side. Let's just say you have a double, a double lane setup, and you want to just be ready and in position to, to kill anyone that's going to be doing this smoke here. So if we find the bot menu, we bring one right here and put him in position where he's going to be throwing a smoke. Put him here. And the really nice part about Nader is like you actually have um, you have the x-ray glow, which makes it really easy to find spam lineups. And I'll just show you exactly how that looks. So let's just say that I'm trying to find like a lineup for this. I obviously need to be in a position to look at the wood. Maybe we're going to look at this nice little white dot. And obviously I know that I could just shoot through this. And I actually first shot, I actually hit him in the head. But, um, you know, I don't know exactly where it is. Like, I, I want to make sure that I'm going to hit him in the head. So all I got to do here is just turn on the bot glow. I see exactly where his head is. Just turn it off and on and just make sure that, you know, every time I'm going to be at the right position for this. So I know that I have to be on the right side of this white. I'm just going to line up with this white dot. Right side of the white. And he's instantly dead. If he tries throwing an aid, he's dead. Instantly. All right. And now moving on to Ancient. As we all saw, there's some new changes. And, you know, we were theory crafting some stuff in the game already. You know, where can we uh, take map control on T-side? What's the best way for us to take map control? You know, thinking about, like, using different smokes now. And, you know, because I think that there might be a little bit more uh, pressure on mid from the CTs, maybe we're going to be able to take mid through B-side. But there's a lot of new little angles here. So there's not the box here that's here anymore. They could be, you know, playing on this close right spot. They could be, you know, holding it from donut side. They could be anywhere here, really. So, you know, maybe we want to find like a flash that's going to go through, you know, at the end, wherever this uh, is going to land. Just thinking of different things, you know, after we take cave control, then we're going to want to find some type of pop flash and have two guys running through it. And you can find a really nice pop flash very fast with, uh, with Nader, actually. So just going back to like having like this type of smoke, like we're going to have a couple different angles that we're going to want to, to find it for. So if you put like a bot here, you put like a bot that's going to be like holding like this type of angle here. It's probably going to be, you know, someone maybe may, he could be here even because if one guy's going to be looking at uh, B side, then one's going to be, you know, close and he's going to be looking at elbow over here. So obviously we're not going to blind uh, this guy, but we want to make sure that we're going to be blinding everything else. And it's also going to be going through the smoke. And you can just find it in a, in a couple different ways. So you're going to just want to find uh, exactly where you want it. And from all these positions, pretty much the common denominators, you probably want it kind of high. Just so you don't want it too low so, the, so your entry guys can go through pretty easily. You want to make sure it's going to be at the position where it can blind everything here. And they don't have like too much time to react and you want a little bit above the smoke. So let's just make sure that it goes above the smoke. So I'll probably want about like right there. Yeah, that looks about good. I'll probably want to be a little, it probably want to be a little bit further. So I want to try to find like a lineup that's going to put it for far enough. So I'm kind of just going in between like jump throw and the normal throw, trying to see like what type of spot is like the best for this. And I'm going to put back the smoke here. Make sure that it's going to go right over the smoke so that they have as least time to react as possible. And we probably want it about there. So let's test that. So in the chat, you can you can see the flash accuracy of it, how, how long they're going to be getting blind for. 
And you can even re-throw it here. Getting blind a decent amount of time. So right there, I'm getting blind for three seconds. That's like a very easy way to just like find a fast jump throw. Maybe this isn't the best one because they can maybe hear. So I'll probably want to put it over here instead. But I want to make sure that's high enough. And that's probably going to be actually a better one since they're you don't want to you want to make sure that they can't like hear any sound cues of your flashes. You can't like let them know exactly where anything's going to happen. And that actually looks way better. Okay. And now if we put on no flash, which is a really nice feature, now I can just test everything again with the flash, make sure it's exactly where I want it to be. And rethrow it. And yep, that would hit me directly in the face for five seconds. And it's going to be the same thing here, completely over the smoke. Yeah. And that's a very easy way to just find like a nice pop flash, you know, theory crafting off of like a smoke, how we want to take mid control, and just find like a really easy lineup for that. And that's just how easy it can be with Nadar and using uh, Predictor for, at least that's how I find my flashes with Predictor. All right, and that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and checking out all the tools that we have. There's so many good opportunities for you to just uh, quickly optimize your learning, checking out all the different mods that we have. And this is just the first of many that I'm going to be doing to try to show you all of these tools to improve your practice and find everything that you need to. And if you like this type of content, make sure you let us know, like, comment, and subscribe, or wherever you're seeing this. And thank you so much for watching.